Okay, so the review for the assessments. The Wessler Adult Intelligence Scale, known as the WACE, is a common IQ test. The distribution of WACE scores for persons over 16 is approximately normal. So that's important. When you see the words approximately normal, that's important. You should make note of that. That means we do not have to test for number of people in the study because we have been told it's approximately normal. There's a mean of 100, that's important. Standard deviation of 15, that is important. The 16 years of age, you can even cross this out. That is a distractor. That number has nothing to do with what we're doing. It just is basically telling you adults. Okay, a little, a little young for adults, but it's basically saying, you know, there's a kid's test and there's the adult test. And if you're 16, you fall into that category. But that 16 has nothing to do with the math. Now, the only other important information in here is random sample, so that's given, and we're talking about 10 people, okay, so we know our N. And if you want to put an N there, remind yourself, that's fine. So calculate the mean. Remember, we draw our funky U, X bar. And the mean of the sample is the same as the mean of the population. So the mean of the population is 100. Right? Now we use the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation of the sample is the standard deviation of the population <coughs> divided by the square root of the number of people. I don't know why I put the symbol there because we know what that is. And that would be 15. And I didn't I'm just, wow, losing it. Let's just hit, let's just go back and imagine that didn't happen. There, 15 is the standard deviation, and N is 10. I'm looking right at it, right down. Okay, so if we type that in our calculator, 15 divided by square root of 10, we will get 4.74. That is our standard deviation that we're going to be using. Now, it says interpret the standard deviation from part A. That's what we just figured out. That is this right here. You might want to note that to yourself. And here is the sentence. <coughs> On average, yep. Okay, and then we're going to fill in the blank. Okay, the waste scores. Waste scores. Now, if you put IQ scores, I'm not going to care. But that's the fill in the blank. On average, waste scores. Now here's the not fill in the blank. Deviate from the mean. If you want to put of 100, just to show you know your stuff, that's fine. You don't have to. But the mean of 100 by, and here's the other fill in the blank, 4.74 points. All right, then C, and you'll notice from the homework it's a little bit different. We're not doing all the stuff we did in the lesson, in the previous lesson. First thing we need to do is find our Z-score. Now, the Z-score is a very simple calculation. It's a subtraction problem on top. It's the score we're looking at, <coughs> which is 105, minus the mean divided by our standard deviation, which we found in part A and we're using part B. That's it. We type that in our calculator and get 1.05 rounded, I believe. Always round properly. Go to two decimal places. If the third number is 0 to 4, round down. If the third number is 5 to 9, we round up. Now we just draw our little normal distribution. Okay? That's how beautiful that is. All right. I think it was like a smart notebook. Now, we just go center, one, two, three, real quickly. All right, point. 1.05, it's just gonna be like right there, slightly past one. We draw a line and we just shade. Doesn't matter, that's it. Now at this point, we go to our table A in our blue book, which we'll be able to use on the quiz, okay? We go to our blue book and we look up 1.05. Now that will give us an area of 
But remember, since we're going greater, we're going to the right, we need to do 1 minus, always. We're looking at greater, more than, exceeded, any of these kind of words that imply to the right, we're going to do 1 minus. Because you can tell, this is a very small section compared to all of this. All right? So the 8531 is that big area in the box to the left. <coughs> What we get is 0.1469. You can leave it right there. That's your answer. If you'd like to put 14.69%, you can do that also. It doesn't matter. And that's it. Number two. Here we go. Pediatricians found the heights of their patients follow a normal distribution. That's important. Now again, in this quiz, in this study guide, in the quiz, we're not actually doing the whole normal thing. But when you're doing these problems, like on a final, you want to look for these key terms. Here's the mean of 40, standard deviation of 10.2, we're talking about inches. Each doctor sees 15 patients, that's our N, you want to put a little N there, which can be considered a representative sample. Each of their heights is recorded and the mean is calculated. Boom. Calculate the mean, we do our funky U. X bar equals the mean of the sample is the same as the mean of the population, so that's 40. Our standard deviation of the sample is our standard deviation of the population, 10.2, divided by the square root of the number, which is 15 patients. Type it in our handy dandy calculator, and we get 2.63. That's it. Boom, boom. Interpret it. Well, what do we say? We say on average. Whoa, I love this word. On? Mm hmm. Action. Sneak up on it. Yep. On average. Okay? So always start with that. On average. Heights. Whatever. Heights. Heights of patients. You don't have to, you know, as wordy as you want to be, but heights is enough. Right? <coughs> Heights deviate from the mean. Again, if you want to show off of 40, 40 inches, whatever, by 2.63 inches. And that's it. That's all we write. Very simple sentence. On average, blankety blank deviates from the mean by blankety blank. And here we go. Last one, part C. Find the probability. Well, to find the probability, we need a Z score. Yeah. Z equals our actual score, which in this one is 38.5, right here. Notice the word less than, very important. Well, term, not word. Words, less than. So we take our actual score <coughs> minus our mean. Divided by that good old standard deviation we have written right there, 2.63, and we get a z-score of negative. You should know it's negative because we are underneath our mean. So we're starting with a number less than the mean, which is left of it. So that's going to be negative 0.57 rounded. We go to our A chart, okay? And we're going to get the area under the curve. Okay, so negative, this time we're going to go... 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 0.57, let's just say it's about halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. Okay, so shade that in. Okay, so when we look at our chart, since it is less than left of, we just take the number off the chart, which is 0.2, nope, 2843. And that's your answer. That is the number for the area there, or we can say 28.43%. Either one of those is an acceptable answer, and that be it.